Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. Today's unboxing video, we're going to take a look at the DAC hat. We're also going to show you how to connect it to the Raspberry Pi too. So the DAC hat is a high definition audio board for the Raspberry Pi. So it allows you to play digital audio from the Raspberry Pi and convert it into analog um, through headphone jacks and RCA line level. So let's take a look at the DAC hat and see what we've got inside. So first up, we've got a really cool Just Boom sticker there. We've also got another Just Boom sticker. Um, we've got a nice card from max 2 play uh, some information there. So the DAC card is compatible with max 2 play operating system. Uh, so if you want to find out for more information there, you can go to the web link at the bottom there. We've also got an information card, or just boom information. Uh, so this just has a link uh, to show you how to get started with the DAC hat. We've also got a Rune Labs information card. Uh, just a bit of information about um, their audio platform. Uh, there's also a 60 day trial membership in there as well. Um, we also got another information card from Max2Play. Uh, so this just has a bit of information on how to connect um, your Raspberry Pi, how to set it up. And I think there's also a, um, some license information on there as well. Uh, yeah, there's a voucher code um, if you want to try it out for free. You can do that. Um, so here we've got some standoff mounts, um, so this is just for mounting the hat to the Raspberry Pi. Um, there's also in here, um, we've also got an infrared LED. Uh, so if you want to add an infrared remote control to the DAC hat, um, you can do so. Um, just simply solder it to the board. Uh, I'll point it out onto the board where it goes shortly. Uh, so I'll just put that back in there for now. Um, yeah, so we've got some standoff mounts and some screws there. I'll just push them to one side. Uh, so let's take a look at the board itself. So this is the uh, Just Boom DAC hat. So as you can see, um, it's got two line level RCA outputs here uh, for left and right audio. Uh, it's also got a headphone jack um, underneath there. Um, the Just Boom DAC hat also has a 138 milliwatt headphone amplifier. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it also has a 40 way GPIO header that you can add to the board. Uh, so not all the GPIO pins are used, um, so if you go to the Just Boom website, um, there's a link in there that will actually tell you which pins are used. Um, so if you want, you can solder a 40-way header and then add uh, your own peripherals to the board. Um, so it has a DAC chip, which is an I2S DAC chip from Texas Instruments. So this will work up to 384 kHz at 32-bit maximum. Uh, when it's connected to the Raspberry Pi, I think it'll, the most it'll do is 192 over 24-bit. Um, if you wanted to go higher than that, I think you have to actually reprogram the kernel. Um, there are some softwares out there. I think Diet Pi is one of them that will actually push it a bit further up to the 384 32-bit mark. Um, so if you've, if you've bought the DAC hat, and you realized you want to connect some speakers to it. Um, we've actually got a little, uh, I don't know if you can see these pins here. You can actually purchase our standalone amp hat, uh, standalone amp board, sorry. Uh, you can simply mount this on top of the DAC hat and it'll basically turn it into an amp. Um, we've also got the cutout there for the camera connector, so should you need it, and on the side as well. Um, the infrared LED actually just goes through the edge there, um, so I'll just 
take it out and show you. <clears throat> um, so all you need to do is just pass that through the holes out and then just sold, solder it and snip the, the feet off the end there. Um, so now let's go ahead and mount it to the Raspberry Pi. So I've got a Raspberry Pi 4 here. Um, so first up, what you'll need to do is just mount the, stand, the standoffs here to the, to the Pi board. It's a lot easier to do it this way than sort of to mount the DAC onto the Pi and then fiddle around getting the standoffs on. Um, so just put the uh, screw through there. You should be able to just screw it on with your with your fingers if you go clockwise. If you just hold it on one side, screw it as far as you can. You can tighten it up later. Uh, so I'll just do the rest of those. There we go. We can tighten those up after. Um, so all we need to do now is put the uh, hot board on top of the ras Raspberry Pi. Uh, so simply just slot it over the top like so uh, push it all the way down as far as it can go and then all we need to do is just screw the screws into the top here if I can get it in in fact I'll just push that in there we go just screw that one on Make sure it's fairly tight, not too tight, but as tight as it needs to be. There we go. And now we have the uh, DAC hat assembled onto the Raspberry Pi. So in terms of software, um, it obviously works with Raspbian. Uh, you just need to add the DT overlay to um, the boot config text file. Um, it's also compatible with Volumo. Um, we've got our own Just Boom software as well. Um, it will work with OpenELEC, um, it'll work with LibreLEC and all, you know, all the Kodi distributions. Um, it's obviously compatible with Max to Play, as you can see there, uh, Rune Audio as well and also Diet Pi as well, and a few others as well. If you go to justboom.co, uh, if you go to the software section, uh, you can find a list of operating systems that it's compatible with. Um, you can also find assembly instructions and any further product information on the, on the website. Uh, so that's it, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can pop them in the comments box below, um, or you can contact us on our website at Just Boom or any of our social channels. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you then.